Alright, hey, this is going to be a little video on the grip pod um, that I have mounted on my Air 15, but it'll mount to any standard rail, so it can fit on a ton of other rifles. Okay. Um, here's the AR. No magazine in it, no round in it, so it's clear. Okay. Now, to mount it, uh, you just put it on there and you know, just uh, screw this piece on. That's all. Pretty simple. Alright. And it comes right off. Okay. And then, uh, so it has a little button on it that you press down. And then the legs will pop out. This one is the military version. Now there's two different types. There's a military version and there's a law enforcement version. The military version that I have has these metal inserts on the legs just to, to strengthen them. The law enforcement version does not. Okay, but I believe that's going to be the only difference between the two. Um, it's very light. Okay, there's not a lot to it. It's long. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty long okay but that's just because you have to clear a 30 round magazine for it to uh, work effectively you know you don't want the magazine bumping into whatever you're laying the rifle onto that wouldn't make any sense okay um, there's not a lot of texture on here you see this is flat and then you have these ridges here you get a really good grip on it because it's so long but really when I mount it on the rifle I don't hold it I don't hold it like that okay I'll show you how I hold it in a little bit um, but for now um, well let's talk about the price okay because that's what really turned me off about it um, I really wanted to get one I saw a video of it and I thought it was pretty cool um, so I went online to Grip Pod's website. And um, on the side of it is printed GPS, Grip Pod Systems, and then their website right below it, griphod.com. Okay? So I went to their website and it was expensive. I haven't, you know, been on their website for a while, but it was more than a hundred bucks, maybe around 125 bucks or something like that. It was very expensive. So I passed it, I passed on it and um, I was looking on eBay and I saw somebody selling one um, brand new without the box for 50 bucks so I bought it and it's the real deal you know it's a real grip pod he sent it to me and it came wrapped in some bubble wrap and he even gave me the um, the little booklet that came with it I threw that out um, you know it was just a it wasn't even a booklet I think it was just a, a piece of paper um, but, uh, yeah, 50 bucks, you can't beat that. I'm not sure where he came across it. He had a couple of them he was selling. But you have to be careful because there's a lot of Chinese-made, um, uh, knockoffs, you know, that are crap, that are going to fall apart. You know, the legs will break. I saw a picture on a website of a guy that bought one, and, uh, the, one of the legs had just snapped off. And also, this little uh, screw over here that you use to tighten it, you know, that popped off too, okay? Where this one's kind of locked on, you can't, there's only so far it'll go before it stops. See, it's not going anywhere else. So that's not going to pop off. Um, so if you're thinking about buying it on eBay, you, you just got to be careful. I think the... Well, I'm not sure. A lot of them are made so well, a lot of the knockoffs, so it's it's kind of hard to tell the difference between a real and fake one. Alright, this one has GPS grip pod systems printed on the side. I think that's one way of, of kind of uh, being able to tell. Alright. Um, this one doesn't have a lot of wear. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. I haven't really scratched it up or anything. The feet down here those will get scratched up obviously pretty fast 
um, because uh, the get out of here. All right, because the the bench has a lot of has a lot of sand, you know, from sandbags, and they and they leak. So when you put the grip pod down, it's kind of uh, grinding into the into the sand. So that's where those scratches came from. But it's no big deal. I mean, it's going to get scratched up anyways from use. Now, the way <laughs> get out of here. The way I have it mounted to the rifle, a lot of people like it a little further. See, I have an extended rail, so if I wanted to, I can mount it all the way down here if I wanted to. Okay? But I like it pretty pretty close. Right there is good. Okay? And I'll show you how how I like to to hold it. Okay. So it's pretty simple to mount. I don't really have to show you that. All right. Um, now, what's good about an AR is that all the recoil comes straight back into your shoulder. You have the barrel, um, the bolt carrier group in here, and then back here you have the extension and the uh, you know the buffer spring and the buffer. So everything is coming in one straight line all the way back. When you're holding the grip and you're holding the rifle back into your shoulder, it's it's kind of uh, pushing the rifle in a weird at a weird angle. Okay, I think the best way to hold an AR is right around the barrel, so you could pull the rifle back. You see what I'm saying? Um, so I usually hold it just like this something like that. It's kind of hard to show you on camera, you know, but so, something like that. Um, or if I have it um, sitting on the bench, you know, maybe I'll hold it some something like that instead. Or maybe even like that, sometimes like that even. But holding it around the barrel right there is the best. Okay, well, the best for me anyways. Maybe you hold it a little differently. And that works out for you. Um, but I think that's all I really wanted to cover. Um, yeah, if you're thinking about getting one, you really got to make sure that you don't get one of those um, Chinese ones. Because they're terrible. They're going to break. So I would just do do, you know, do some research first before you decide to pick one up and if you're on eBay looking for one and um, it's shipping from Hong Kong chances are it's not going to be that good okay um, but I think that's it yeah I bought it for 50 bucks great deal because if you go online to maybe uh, uh, I think it was Brownells they had it there for yeah the same price that they had on Grip Pod's website which was, you know, maybe a hundred, hundred twenty-five dollars, something like that. Big difference, you know. So maybe you'll be able to pick one up uh, for pretty cheap. Um, all right. Well, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. And if I haven't already said it, I would definitely recommend the grip pod. I think it's great. I think it's built really well. Oh, I'll show. Actually, I'll show you how to take it apart real quick. It's pretty simple because when I got it. I wasn't, I, I didn't even know this is how you take it apart. You screw, this piece comes off. Okay, well you gotta open it up. And this comes off. And then, so you got the legs in there. Okay, and spring, and that's it. And when you put it back together, there's only one way it goes back together, because you see the way these, um, these little cutouts are shaped. See the way they're positioned? There's only one way you could put it back in. So let's say you try to put it back in backwards. It's not going to go. You're going to have to... See? There you go. That's the right way. But you got to put the spring back in first. So, And then that just screws back on. So if you ever had to clean it, I guess you could take those out. Not that it really 
it accumulates dirt or dust inside there. Maybe it depends how you're using it, but um, yeah, it doesn't really get that dirty. All right. Well, thanks for watching.